Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Thanks so much for looking in. Topping the news this evening, the growing threat of climate change and the Bahamas' response to the global coronavirus pandemic were issues highlighted by the country's finance chief today. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, addressing business leaders at a major business summit today at the Bahamar Convention Center, Cable Beach. The event hosted by Royal Fidelity and its business partners partners. The theme, colliding global interest, assessing the impact. Desmond Saunders has more. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist, addressed the growing threat of the coronavirus, which he says is creating an immediate threat to the near-term performance of the local economy. The Minister of Finance says his ministry is exercising caution and taking stringent measures to address this issue. Our ongoing task in the public and private sectors is to manage the impact of these global forces as they collide with our own national development interests. Our e economic livelihood is heavily dependent on both trade and travel, and the global turmoil we see spiraling around us pose significant potential risks to those sectors in particular. On the issue of climate change, the country's Minister of Finance highlighted recent events of the killer storm Dorian and its immediate impact to the local economy. Turncrest feels developing nations are the main contributors to the growing climate crisis and they must share the responsibility for the rehabilitation of economies that are disproportionately impacted by climate events. And it is time for our international partners to make changes and implement practical solutions now to assist and to head off some of the long-term risks that we now see are becoming more and more evident. Two priority areas where intervention is possible and needed is with respect to us accessing concessionary, concessionary financing and managing mass migration, which is something new for Bahamians. The recent events of Hurricane Dorian exposed a number of vulnerabilities, including the issue of hurricane risk insurance within the private sector. Turnquist says some 75 to 80 percent of businesses were either uninsured or underinsured. Then on the issue of climate migration, the finance minister says as Bahamas moves to implement domestic policies for mandatory evacuations, the issue of climate migration must take priority. We must be prepared to raise the discussion of climate refugees and contingency plans. Internationally, Considerations for facilitating climate-related migration must now take its, make its way onto the front page of climate risk considerations as these realities become more and more relevant in our contingency planning. Turnquest believes the actions of developing nations and large economies have direct and indirect impacts on the economic outlook of countries like the Bahamas. He says Bahamas will remain resilient in the face of these global adversities. Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News.